Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can pass data from one page to another page with the help of Angular routing. So there are majorly three ways. Uh, first one is a router link. Second one with the help of button click and third one directly with the help of a router file. There are some other ways also, but there are no so much popular. These three are most useful and most popular ways to pass data from one page to another page. And at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. And uh, this is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so first let's see how we can pass data with the help of router link. And for that what we'll do, we will make one more component and that component name will be profile and we will pass data from home page to the profile page with the help of router link. So let me create one uh, profile component. So for that, let's run command ng g4 generate c4 component and component name is profile. And when I just hit enter, uh, you can see that uh, one component is created. Let me change its text. Let me put there hello user right because this is uh, the profile uh, component and that will be work like a profile page so let's make a simple link first of all and for that i am opening home component.html file and there i'll create a link and uh, there i will just put their router link and i'll pass a path there and we have two uh, define this path also but let's define the that anchor tag first and I'm putting the text go to profile page right and with that from ts file we have to import router link also right and at last let's go to the app component.ts and before to this double star that means wild uh, card route Let's put the path and path we have to put their profile and component that we need to load there which is profile component. Now uh, what is that issue? Okay so we have to put a semicolon at the last. Now uh, in the home page if I just click on the go to profile we are landing on the profile page which is very simple. Now we want to pass some data from home page to uh, you can see that profile page for that what we need to do let me go to the home.component.ts file and there you have to use this router link inside the square braces and there also we have to use square braces inside the string right inside the quotes and the first will be uh, the path and after that let's use comma and make a an object and you can pass any data so let's say I'm passing their username. So I'm putting their name Anil Siddhu. Alright. Okay. So after that, you will see if I just click over there, some data is passing in the URL. We know that. But how we can get it on the profile page? This is the question. And for that, let's move on the profile.ts file. And there you have to import. Let me define their constructor. And inside this constructor, let's def uh, let's define a property with the name of route and import their active route there. And if you want, you can make this property private also because we are not inheriting this class component anywhere. Okay. Uh, constructor is defined. Now you have to use one function. Maybe you can use some other function also but better if you you can use their ng on it so this is the method of life cycle methods in angular but uh, till now in this series we haven't discussed what are the life cycle methods so for now you can say that this ng on it let me make this uh, function there on in it this will be called whenever our page is getting load in the ui all right uh, yeah so they are what we need to do you can uh, just take uh, any variable or constant and its name is let's say user or something and then you can say that simply this dot route dot snapshot dot uh, this is a little bit long uh, you can say that 
uh, keys right then get and whatever the key name you passed so key name is the home so i can just get it name and if i just log this user you will see we are getting this name here we go right so now let's use this with the help of text on the ui on the profile so what i'll do there i'm making a key user name and its type is string as well as its type with a colon and it could be null also so let's say if someone is not passing data then it could be null and by default this is an empty string perfect now what you can do uh, you can directly assign this dot username and name directly and use this name over the there so let me put there h1 tag hello username and then you can say that this should be in the double curly braces you can see that welcome so now you can see that and it's okay so let me just mention they are welcome like this so now you can see that if i'm just coming from the profile page welcome anil situ and let's say there is a one more link and there we are passing the name as a peter and now you can see that if i just click over the okay let me make some br tag there yeah if i just click on the second one welcome peter because we passed their peter name and for first one this is anil situ so this is the one way how we can pass data with the help of router link and now we want to pass data on a button click so i have to comment out these two as well as i have to comment out this line also because we have to write change this line okay so the new code is uh, let's define a button there and you can put there go to profile page and then let's define a click event there and with the click event you can simply mention on um, go to profile or whatever function you want to make there right okay so now go to the um, home.ts file declare this function and we have to navigate from here but to navigate again we need to import one property from angular router which is router only so let let's define their constructor and property type you can put the private and router and again we have to import the router from angular router this one from this package all right okay so now the next thing that we need to do there this dot router dot navigate and there in the array you have to pass the path so let's see is it working or not so if i go to the home clicking on the go to profile this is going to the profile page but there is no name that's why only welcome is visible there okay so now if you want to pass the data then you have to use the second uh, parameter there which is a object and is passed there query param and with the help of query param just make a object maybe name because we are using the common name key right so let's put the name only and again put anil situ right and how we can get it on the profile component dot ts there uh, what you need to do you can simply use this dot route dot uh, query param let me put there query params dot subscribe and uh, there let's get a parameter and there if you just log this params you will find uh, okay we have to use the these curly braces also yeah, inside this now if i just print it let's see there now you can see that name is anil situ right so if i just put this with the param I, i will put their name then you will see we are getting the exact name and if this name you can assign to the this dot username property uh, let me copy this 
and paste it there right if you want to comment out this console this is still fine and now you can see that anil situ going to the profile page and here we go the anil situ right okay so there is a small exercise for you if you want to do there okay so with there is a two button let's say right and on these two buttons right now we are get, getting the same username right anil situ so in the first one i want to send the anil situ and as a user and second one i want to send the name peter then how how can i do that so this is a small uh, task for you now the last one uh, how we can pass data with the router file only route config file only again for this i have to comment out these two links as well as this code also right uh, yeah this one and uh, this function this is also not required so i can just comment it out okay so now the next thing is what you need to do there um, i think i have to comment out this brick bracket also and let me format it yeah okay so the ne next and last way is in the app.route.ts but that will be only work when you want to pass the same data always you want to pass the same data so uh, as a second parameter let's pass their data and they pass any object maybe name is anil situ like this cool okay so the next thing is uh that we can do after just passing this data uh, let's create a simple link uh, on the home page like this only and there we have to define uh, router link mm. router link and we'll pass there simply profile and you can see that go to profile or something right okay so now uh, you will see that this is perfectly working fine but there is no data in the url but how we can get this data now so again for that go to the profile.ts file and there you need to simply put this this dot route dot data dot subscribe and there i'll pass data and uh, then you can say that this dot username is uh, you can mention their params only because uh, above also we are using the params right then uh, you can see that params and in the params we are passing the name right and this is the way now if i just click over there you can see that anil siddhu is gone if you want to check this param you can console it and here we go this is coming right if i just pass there in the app dot route is peter this is also work perfectly fine here we go right so these are the three ways if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part guys